nothing else. There's nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want you. There's nothing else. There's nothing. Thank you for the smoke right here, right now. So, hey, uh, we're gathered, obviously, for awakening prayer. Uh, you've heard some prayers or you're going to hear some, some more. Uh, but I, I want to take the time to pray over our city. Every week we pray for churches. Uh, but I want to pray over our city. So I just want to ask you to join with me. I'm, I'm up, on my, up on my roof. I can get a good view of all the way around. I can actually look over toward San Luis. So we're just going to pray for our, our community. So you, you just join with me. Father, as we all work through this whole COVID-19 thing, I don't know how much of it is in the air. I don't know how much of it is floating around our county, but we're asking that this stuff will just be swept right on the way. Just remove it right from our area, right from our community. We don't want to hear of any more deaths to this. We don't want to hear of any more people affected. We're asking you, Lord, to sweep in just like I feel this breeze blowing. Let it blow right on through and blow this COVID-19, this coronavirus right out of our community. But Father, we're also asking this, as I can, as I'm able to look to the south. I pray not only for, for people, Lord God, that live on this side of the of the city, but Lord, also for on into our neighbors in Mexico and, and on into San Luis, Arizona. We pray for Pastor David and his team there in Mexico and, and pray, Lord, for the San Luis campus. Pray for people in the city of San Luis to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord God, for your grace uh, in the south. Lord, as I look to the east, as I even look toward the mountain, Lord God, I pray, Lord, from here to this mountain and beyond over in Welton that the Spirit of God will draw people to you, that Christ would be glorified and magnified and this whole area, Lord God, is filled with the radiant glory of God. Lord, as I look to the north, I'm asking you, Lord God, as I look toward more of our city, toward the north and the west, I pray, Lord God, for salvation, that all of these lights, Lord God, will represent the light of Jesus Christ and every one of these homes will be homes of hope and homes of peace and homes of salvation, that people, Lord God, in our community will be saved. We pray, Lord God, as the scripture says, that we call from the north, south, east, and west, people that will glorify the name of Jesus. May your word flood this city. May your word flood this county. May the spirit of God bring transformation. Father, we're trusting you to do it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Hello, Church for the City. My name is Brian Kondracki, and I currently serve as an usher at CTC. I'm also a small group leader, a CLG leader, which I'm, I'm blessed. Uh, I miss you all tremendously. I wish I could be at church with you, uh, praising our Lord together, uplifting his name on high. But I have no doubt you, uh, like me and my family, are still lifting his name up on high in our homes. And I'm actually currently in my classroom uh, where I'm going to lift his name on high with you as we pray to him. 
for our school teachers, for our staff and principals, and most of all, our, our students as well. So if you'll pray with me. Father God, first, first we know you love us, my God, and, and we love you too. We're, we're blessed, Father, that we're able to come to you in prayer together, even though, Father God, we're not in the same room. Uh, Lord God, we're, we're gathered together in spirit, and we just reach out to you, my God. We cry out to you. Uh, on behalf of our city and, uh, and our and our teachers and students and, and other staff, my God, that you do a mighty work in us. Lord God, as, as this COVID has, has gone across our nation, uh, we see people pulling together. And Lord God, uh, we want you to use us to pull our community together. We pray for our teachers, Lord, as, as they're endeavoring and teaching, teaching students. Uh, Father God, we love our students and we know we want the best for them. And Lord God, as they're at home, we know their needs. Uh, we want to meet their needs. So, Father God, give us give us strength and knowledge, understanding, and wisdom to be able to meet their needs, Lord, and that we can just have you shine through us, uh, that we can show kids the hope that we have in you, that you never fail us, that you never leave us. And, Father God, that that's something that they grip onto. Uh, Lord God, we pray for our administrators, for our principals, uh, front office staff as, as they're going through and they're making tough decisions in an unpredictable time, my God. Uh, that they make wise decisions, that they do right, but ultimately, Lord, that you're guiding them and comforting them as they make these decisions. We're not looking for perfection, my God, but we are looking to you to guide us and lead us. Father God, I want to uplift our students just again, Lord. We, we love them so much, and, and while the kids are at home, the one thing that we want so badly is, is for them to come to know you. So, Lord God, in, in, every, single, in every single home, in every single circumstance, we pray that you're somehow planting the seeds through us uh, at CTC, just teachers at CTC, just investing in these kids. Father God, would you speak through us uh, your words of wisdom to reach these kids. Ultimately, Father, we want your protection. We're trusting in you in all things, my God. No matter what happens, we know that you're the author and the finisher of our salvation. So we, we lift every, every teacher up to you. We lift every student, every administrator, all staff, my God, knowing that in your hands we're safe, we're protected and we have eternal security. We love you, Father, and we pray in Jesus' name always. Hi, we're the Anu family and we go to church for the city where I'm involved in Thin Line Ministries. And I am involved with intercessory prayer and the women's ministry. And today we're gonna to be praying for military families. Father God, we come before you today lifting up anyone whose life is involved or affected within the military of this country. We bring them to you, Father God, and ask that in this life of chaos and uncertainty, you are their guiding light. You are the hope and the rock that they cling to, Father that they know wherever they are sent, you went there first, preparing a path, Father God, that you are with them and near them and next to them, filling them with your faith and your strength and your favor, Father God. I pray that in this uncertainty, you are what they cling to, your word and your presence, and that it strengthens marriages and families and just provides a rock for us all to go to, no matter where we are or what we're dealing with, Father. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. I'm praying for the people that get coronavirus, they get healed. And I'm praying, for, and I hope that you help, help the people that get coronavirus and heal them with all you can, and, and they get, get help from coronavirus. Amen. Dear Father Lord, I pray that you are with the children who have lost a parent or have lost a best friend's parent who are scared for what's next, don't know where they're gonna move, if they're scared to make new friends. Dear Father God, I pray that they know that wherever they are scared to go, you are with them, you are guiding them, you are forming a path for them. Father, we pray for our young men and women whose commitment to serve is greater than their commitment to themselves feeling trapped and isolated, far from parents and families that they can't get to. We pray for those who had before them a certain future that has now been cast into uncertainty, and that they take heart in the knowledge that only you know the plans you have for them. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hello, my name is Maria Cecilia Cruz and I serve on the Kids Church Ministry and also in the intercessory prayer for um, Church for the City. 
and I'm also the vice mayor here in the city of Sundays and we're here in front of our beautiful city hall and I will be praying for the city so please join me Heavenly Father thank you for one more day of life and we come before you because you have blessed us abundantly and we have the privilege of coming to you for all our needs and I bring the city of San Luis, Arizona before you, Father God, because in Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, city of San Luis, says the Lord, plans for good and not for evil, and to bring you a future and a hope. Heavenly Father, in these difficult times, we will keep our eyes on you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask you that you bless the city and we ask you to protect us from this virus that is going around. We ask you in Jesus' mighty name that you bring blessings to the city. We ask you in Jesus' mighty name that people come to know you, to come to know your love so that they can say and know and hope that you will protect them through all these difficult times. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My name is Andrew Krimkovich. I work as an EMT firefighter for the Rural Metro Fire Department, and I wanted to lift up our first responders. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us a chance to call on your name, to have confidence that you hear our prayers as we pray according to your will, and leading and guiding us for the things that would actually further your kingdom, and, and healing would further your kingdom, and getting the gospel out would further your kingdom, and living a sacrificial life, going into the dangerous places, places that people would run from and avoid, and, and going out there sacrificially would further your kingdom. That would give you the glory, that would give you the praise. And we ask God that you do protect the first responders, whatever part of the country they're being deployed to for the pandemic, whatever situation's going on locally here in town, we're asking that you would protect and watch Watch over them and use their lives as a tool and as a as a help and a healing and you'd also give them a chance to hear and to be a gospel to others to either listen if they've never heard it and to preach it if they've already known it and been known by God and we're asking God that you would you would lead us to to not run from something that you want us to run towards even if it means we must sacrifice out of our own time out of our own comforts or maybe even put ourselves in a questionable scenario to honor and follow you obediently and we pray god that you would protect across the board and you'd get us ready and you'd watch over us but you'd also lead and direct our hearts and our minds because you can lead a sinner to your cross and you can lead a sinner that already carries your cross to another sinner and all this needs to be happening even nowadays, especially when everyone's running around scared and afraid and, and worried consistently. We have peace in you, a peace that surpasses understanding, a peace that doesn't come from circumstance. It doesn't come from how good things are going, but it comes from how much your promise stands even today. And we're praying, Lord God that you would further our minds and our hearts in your word and strengthen us so that we can go out there and do the work that needs to be done when we're dispatched to different calls and dispatched to different locations and different situations going on. And we know, God, that this is still by your hand, this whole situation, the whole pandemic, and you're not doing anything for no reason. There's a reason and a purpose behind it. And the reason isn't for us to lose our sight or lose our hope off you, but it's to keep our hope on you and to keep going forward and pressing on towards the mark. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hello, my name is Sandra Lerma, and I'm from Church for the City, and I serve in children's ministry and intercessory prayer team. I just want to pray today for all the people that are affected by this COVID-19, people that are affected in their businesses, small businesses, big businesses, um, that we are affected financially. Um, some of us have had to um, stop working for order per order of the governor and we understand that we follow the rules but at the same time it has hurt us financially but i pray that you know, that you may know that our heavenly father's in control and he's on his throne and i pray that he supplies um, our every need and that we may have overflow to help other people i pray that um that um in this such uncertain times that, that we just um may fall to our knees and, and realize that where our help comes from it comes from the lord and that's the only place that it comes from I would like to read from James um, 1, 2, 3, 4. Dear brothers and sisters, whenever trouble comes your way, let it be an opportunity for joy. For when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. 
grown for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be strong in character and ready for anything. Heavenly Father, I just lift up right now people that are hurting, Lord, that we're, we're that are hurting financially, Lord, that have lost um, they come right now in this uh, pandemic that's going worldwide, Lord. I just pray that you supply their every need, Lord, and that you will bring people alongside to help them. It'll help them financially if need be, Lord. And I pray that there is a, a, an overabundance, Lord, in, in, in your family, Lord, of, of believers, that we're able to help others in, in small things and in big things, Lord. And we know, Lord, that you make all things work for, the, for those who love you, Lord, the good of those who love you, Lord. And we love you, Lord, and we know that you're working it all out, Lord, and we pray that uh, we have such peace, peace that surpasses all understanding, because our minds cannot understand your peace, Lord, your peace, which is, um, it's just so overwhelming, Lord, and I pray that we have that right now, that your peace is overwhelming in our heart. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, Lord, that is constantly with us, that our counsel, it's our counselor and our guide and our teacher. That, that will just help us through these difficult times, Lord. I just pray that we continue to look forward, not look to the left or the right, and our eyes are right towards you, Lord, right towards the cross, right towards uh, Jesus Christ who has died and, and, and paid the wages for our sins. We love you, Lord, and we just pray that in your, your son's precious name, Lord, that you will be with us continuously through this, Lord, and you will supply every need that we need, and when things go back to normal, Lord, that we may not forget where our help come, came from, it comes from you continuously, Lord. It comes from you, Lord. Your holy word says that you have not left us as orphans, that you call us your own. You call us your chosen children, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, and we love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, how's it going, guys? God bless you. My name is Isaiah Wong. Um, I've been asked to say a prayer over our region um, in agriculture. Uh, I was fortunate enough to study agriculture here in Yuma. I uh, graduated from the University of Arizona, and it's been a great blessing for me able to me to see um, all the work put into it to provide, you know, produce not just for us, but all over the United States and other countries um, as well. So um, here it is. Heavenly Father, God, I just want to thank you so much for blessing us um, with this land, God, where we're at. God, blessing us with a great source of water uh, that comes from Colorado to be able to be enough water, not just for the produce in the winter, but all around um, throughout the year, God. I pray and ask for your continued blessings, um, not just on our land and on the water, God, but on all the workers that that, that put their part in, God. May you continue to strengthen them, um, help them, God, and keep those safe, God, who deal with chemicals. Um, keep them out of direct contact of being contaminated and, and damaging their health. May you continue to bless us, God, and help us, God, and help all the people in, in, in Yuma that, that put in so many hours of work, God, um, for all this produce um, being produced, Lord. I pray and ask, God, for your continued blessings, um, and I thank you so much for us, for letting us be a part of it, God. Um, you're so good to us, Jesus. May you continue to be with us, God. In your precious name, I pray, God. Thank you very much, Lord. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Tanya Marie Norad. I am a city youth leader and also on the prayer team. I also serve our community by uh, working at Yuma Regional Medical Center and Yuma Nursing Center. Uh, I love our community, and today I'm going to go ahead and pray for our medical community. All right, let's do this. Jesus, I thank you for all of those who serve. Um, their community, I thank you that there are so many people who have the heart of healing, a heart to restore people. And I pray that even during a time when many people are nervous and a, a time when people are, are are worried about their own families, that there are so many people who are coming out to to the nursing homes, to the clinics, to the hospital, and they're, they're willing to come and they're willing to serve. They're willing to um, allow even the Holy Spirit, even if they're not the, led by God, they're willing to allow the Holy Spirit to, to be the, the hands and feet of healing for, for peace of mind, God. I do pray that for administrations, they're making such hard decisions, God, and I thank you that they're willing to make those hard decisions. Even when other people are mocking or putting them down, I pray that there would be a covering over the administration of every single clinic in our community, that there would be a respect for, for those people, and that there would be a lifting up and an, and an honoring of the job that they have to do. Just like parents who have to make hard decisions for their kids, these people are making hard decisions for our community. And I do pray that you would give them wisdom, give them guidance, give them understanding, give them 
uh, an ability to discern truth. I also pray, God, that you would um, protect families through this time, that every single medical worker, as they go home, that they have confidence that their family is being taken care of. I thank you for this community who is so brave, that there's so many people who are blessing healthcare workers, and I, I ask that our community would continue to be kind and that they would continue to, to lift up those, even when they don't agree with things, that they're continuing to lift up um, continuing to lift up people who are, are willing to serve during this time. I thank you so much, Jesus, for the opportunity to pray for other people, the opportunity to be um, with people in community through prayer. And I ask that the church of God would be a, a voice of praise, would be a voice of, of hope, would be a voice of truth, God, in this time, in the name of Jesus, amen. Hi, CTC family and friends. My name is Karina Jones, and I serve here on the city youth team at Church for the City. I am also the president and CEO of a local nonprofit called United Way of Yuma County. Right now, I'm at the Heritage Building in downtown. This is home to not only United Way of Yuma County, but also several other nonprofits like the Yuma County Chamber of Commerce, Visit Yuma, the Yuma Crossing Heritage Center, and the Caballeros de Yuma, all vital nonprofits that are serving our community. I invite you right now to not only pray with me for them, but also for all of the nonprofits that are serving our county. God, I thank you so much for every single nonprofit that is serving the needs of our community. Lord, I pray a special protection over their staff, over their volunteers, and over their board of directors. God, as they navigate this season and having to make difficult decisions, that you just give every director, every CEO, just a special wisdom and just a grace as they lead their staff and volunteers. God, I pray that you also just give them peace, that they not have anxiety or worry about where their next donation may come from, but that they truly rest in you, God. Lord, I thank you um, just so much for all of the direct needs that they're meeting in our community, not just here in Yuma, but in South County and in Welton as well. That when we come out of this season, that we're all able to look back and say that we came out better, that we came out stronger, and that we all came out united for our community. We lift these things up to you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Calvary. 